Today we are going to discuss Java servlet and introduction of JSP. Before going to discuss Java JSP, we have to know about Java servlet because Java servlet has very important role in JSP. Java servlet is a service side technology and is a Java program that runs on a web server and is designed to handle incoming requests and generate dynamic responses. Servlet are part of Java Enterprise Edition platform which provide a framework for building scalable, robust and secure enterprise web applications. Here some key point about Java servlets. First of all, server side technology. Servlet are a server side technology which means they execute on web server rather than in a user web browser. In this server side technology client here is, is a client is a web browser give request to the server and that server handle the request and then process it and send a dynamic response to the client. Server lit are written in Java. They leverage a Java platform's features and library. Servlet lifecycle. Servlet have a well-defined life cycle that includes initialization, service handling, and destructions. When web server like uh, Apache Tomcat starts, it loads the initialized servlet define in the web application servlet have a well defined life cycle including method like init service and destroy init method is called when the server is first created now service method is called for each request and it where the servlet process the client request and generate the response and the third one is a destroy method is called when the servlet is being taken out of service giving it a chance to clean up the resources request handling when a client or you can say a web browser for example send an HTTP request to the server, the server determines which servlet should handle the request based on the URL mapping configurations in the web application development, descriptor, web.xml file or through an ocean. The servlet container creates an instance of a servlet if not already created and invokes its service method. The service method receives the request and response object as, as a parameter. It's responsible for processing the request and generating the response. Servlet APIs. Servlets use the Java servlet API which provides a set of classes and interfaces for building web applications and now integrations with web server server lit are typically integrated with web server like apache tomcat jetty or ibm web spare and etc now request and response object how it works the 
HTTP servlet request object provide information about the request such as parameter, headers and the request method get and post. This is how request is going to the server. The HTTP servlet response object is used to build and send the response back to the client. It provides method to set response headers, content type and to obtain a writer or output streams to write the response content scalability. Servlet based application can be highly scalable making them suitable for both small and large scale web applications. Now generating dynamic content means whenever client give a request to the server then how servlet generate a dynamic content. Servlet are particularly useful for generating dynamic content. They can execute Java code to interact with database, perform business logic or make decision based on the request parameters. Servlet can use the print writer or output stream from the HTTP servlet response to write the response content which is usually HTML, XML or other data format means it can send back as a response HTML, XML or other data format. Thread safety. Servlet should be designed to be a thread safe as multiple threads may execute the service method concurrently to handle the different request means there are so many clients and they all are send request on the server for the same uh, same server then concurrently server provide a service to the different clients at the same time. If servlet need to store data between request, they can use interface variables carefully or make use of other thread safe mechanism. In summary, servlet play a crucial role in Java web development by providing a server-side component to handle HTTP request and generate dynamic content. They are part of the Java EE means enterprise editions, specifications and are widely used in various web applications and frameworks. How servlet works? Here I am draw a, a client. Here is some client and uh, here is a server. Client is just like your uh, web browser and here in web browser we just write uh, www.abc.com like and this request goes to the web server and this web server there is a many containers like uh, servlet containers, JSP containers, security containers, socket containers, etc. What servlet container do? Servlet container handle the request and then process the request and then generate dynamic content it is uh, maybe it is HTML XML and other format as 
required by the client and then this request as a response goes to the client and this client can able to get the result of his request now why we need jsp in servlet all the html code or tags written in a print dot out ln print out ln all the response generated by the servlet is in the if is in the form of html and that all html write in the print out out ln and it is very a tedious task means whole html page is written in print dot out dot ln that is very tedious work so in jsp we can write a java code between a html like ja just like we write a javascript code between html and it is executed very rapidly or very fastly just like that in jsp we write java code in html in the next session we will discuss jsp and introduction of jsp and what is the main difference between jsp and servlet we will discuss and how jsp is uh, more convenient for work in jsp we can write front end code in a different file and back end code or logical code in a different file and this is very manageable for a programmer and if you want to debug something and front end developer can manage his code in different file and java code will be managed in a different file thank you for this okay that's it for today in the next session we will discuss jsp introduction and difference between jsp and servlet thank you